October 30th, 1998. Nighttime, from my recollection, uh, there was a discrepancy between my biological mother and her boyfriend at the time, Mark. I don't know his last name. Uh, aggressive arguments, some physical shit was going down. Uh, plates smashing, cutleries, glass breaking and shit. They have to do the right thing, get the children out of there because it was so intensified. Our mother, I guess, was not able to have contact with us until we were at, of the age of 18. I have a fear that she, she has this picture that I'm this strapping, intelligent, sophisticated, go-getting, well-achieved, well-spoken person, and I have my shit together. Well, I'm not. Honestly, it's still, like, in there. Every minute. Every minute of that night that we got taken away. Felt sorry at the time that the world owed me a fucking left nut. It was just so much in one container, the container being my head, my heart, my mind, you know, that it needed to get out. Well, the only way that I could think, and the only way I really knew how was aggressively and physically. Essentially, my life was just a fucking roller coaster. And it wasn't just doing loop-de-loops and spins, tornado spins, it was going left and right and up and down and multiple loops and big loops and little loops and huge tornado spins down and up and it was doing zigzags and stopping and going and darting in and out and everywhere. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. I have no computer, no cell phone, no landline for myself. It sucks, it really does, but it's my own fault. I just don't have the money. Because I'd like to get together with friends, you know? Get together with my guy friends and go to the bar, or go to a club or a pub or like a rave or something, you know? Or oh, her? I'd like to date again. Be dating again, sort of. And, you know, have the ability to 
call up a girl and be like, you just want to get together or text over Facebook or Twitter or whatever, whatever's going on now. It's take things in stride. As much as you want to introspect into the past to try and prevent the future, you can only do so much about the past. The past is done, right? So yeah, I try and put it, just block it out, you know? But deep down, it is still there. There's people out there who suffer way worse than me and Shane and Brandon did. And that's, that's what I mean by my head was up my ass. For me, it's a fear thing that it's not fear that she'll reject me or a fear that she'll accept me and then I'll become something again. She just doesn't realize who I've become. I was nine when I last saw her. In that amount of time, too, I'm not a little boy anymore. You know, I want to go back to school. I want to get married. I want to start a family. Everything that happens around you, day to day, is basically a piece of the puzzle put together. So, right, you have your goals. Every step you take every day is another piece added to the puzzle. It's only when we make bad decisions, a puzzle piece will get taken out. Or maybe even lost. And that's when we're in trouble. Oh yeah. I'm working on it. Hang loose. Hang loose. You gotta see.